Hi everyone, my name is Michael, representing 2Med2, and this is This Day in Star Wars History. We have a busy day, so let's get started. On this day in 1971, THX 1138 is released, but not in the form Lucas intended. Warner Brothers had taken the film away from him and assigned Warner Brothers staffer Rudy Farr to edit it. Farr removed five minutes from THX 1138 without any apparent reason. It didn't make any sense, Lucas says. Whether it's five minutes shorter or longer, it didn't change the movie one bit. That's about the level of intelligence that was going on. Although THX 1138 gathers some positive reviews, the experience with Warner Brothers alienates Lucas from Hollywood and fuels his desire to have complete control over his films. Then, in 1979, the Star Wars newspaper comic strip begins publication by the Los Angeles Times Syndicate. At launch, the strip appears in 214 newspapers. After five years in the newspapers, the final Star Wars comic strip is published by the Los Angeles Times Syndicate. The last story marks the end of the fruitful pairing of writer Archie Goodwin and artist Al Williamson, who brought careful craftsmanship to the comic page in the compact daily installment syndicate throughout Canada and the U.S., the wrap-up storyline is titled The Final Trap and centers around R2-D2 and C-3PO discovering a mysterious messenger drone and then accidentally triggering a telepathic ambush set by Darth Vader. One year later, in 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev becomes General Secretary of the Soviet Communist Party and leader of the Soviet Union. We jump ahead 10 years to 1995. The Museum of Television honors the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles at the Television Festival in Los Angeles where it joins other programs selected for artistic value, cultural impact, or historical significance. The ceremony, which is attended by Lucas and Rick McComb, includes a screening of the episode Paris 1919. In 1999, we had the full Episode 1 trailer debut in theaters, focusing more on the central plot of the Trade Federation's invasion of Naboo with more action and dialogue than the teaser trailer. The online version enjoys over 3.5 million downloads in five days on StarWars.com. Also in theaters, this movie's release poster is a collage of characters followed by the format established by the special edition theatrical poster. Proceeding the gold dress controversy by about 13 years, unable to decide what is the correct color of Hans Hoff outfit due to conflicting reference photography, Hasbro produces the action figure in two versions, one with a blue coat and another with a brown coat. Titan magazines publishes the 100th issue of Star Wars Insider in 2008. The centerpiece of the issue is a tally of the 100 most popular characters, vehicles, and items from Star Wars as determined by visitor traffic on StarWars.com. The Jedi Order is at the top of the list. Rounding out our full March 11th, 2013, the fate of the Clone Wars becomes known as Lucasfilms announces a major shift in focus for its animated division. The series is canceled, though work on the episodes already in production will continue, with a shortened sixth season of so-called bonus content to be distributed through yet-to-be-announced means. However, even as these doors close, a new one opens with the new animated series to become Star Wars Rebels. And with that, we move to trivia. Yesterday's answers. How many times does Finn claim Chewbacca almost killed him while he tends to his shoulder wound? Six. Which word 
does Supreme Leader Snoke use to refer to Rey when he finds out she was able to resist Kylo Ren's power? Scavenger. What does Captain Phasma ask Finn to hand over for inspection at Starkiller Base? Finn's blaster? Who does Han Solo think had the Millennium Falcon after he lost it? Duquesne. Which planet is Rey talking about when she says she didn't know there was this much green in the whole galaxy? Tokanda? And when do First Order Stormtroopers start their exceptional training and programming? Birth. And today's questions. What can be seen exploding through the window of Starkiller Base Control Room? Ray and Kylo Ren both use the Force to gain control of which weapon on Starkiller Planet? Who alerts the First Order that Han Solo has the droid they want aboard the Millennium Falcon? The people who knew him best think Luke Skywalker went looking for what after he disappeared. Which system that is home to the capital of the New Republic does Starkiller Superweapon destroy? Which droid contacts C-3PO to let him know BB-8 is at Maz Kanata's castle. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you did on the trivia. Please like and share this video and subscribe to become part of the 2 Med 2 Mafia. I said good day. May the force be with you.